good afternoon. Today is Monday, July the 1st. I just realized we have gone through half of the year already. It's going by so fast. But this is Dorothy Simon sitting in for Jim Lakey at Cable Channel 3. And you can also catch us on the web at sandylandcenter.org or visit us at the south side of the square at 110 East 3rd. Come on by for coffee. We are here every morning from 9 until 12. The weather patterns this morning, it was an absolutely beautiful morning. And generally in the Midwest, we can expect a few more showers and thunderstorms as they roam the high plains to the westernmost part of, of Kansas. The daytime temperatures are running quite at the normal rate, plus or minus 10 degrees, and the highs will be from 70 to 80 degrees. And with these excellent weather patterns, um, the wheat harvest is in full swing, and I'm told about 90% completed. And uh, most of the farmers have got their crops in and the humidity is just perfect. Today it should run right between 39 and 54 percent and although the pollen count remains high through Saturday. But right now in the square it's a beautiful sunny sh just cool 75 degrees with a nice north northeasterly wind at 11 miles per hour and we can expect this weather pattern for the next six hours, it should remain sunny as the temperature um, approaches a high today of 83 degrees. Tuesday, we shall see some more sunny skies and the daytime high of 85 and nighttime low with clear skies at 59 and a humidity uh, 58% tomorrow. And Wednesday, partly cloudy. Uh, with a high of 86 and a low of 61. In our community, we have a happy anniversary to Dorothy and Irving Simon. They're celebrating their 46th wedding anniversary, I believe. So if you see that couple walking down the street, wish them a happy anniversary. And the Ministerial Alliance of Stafford County invites you to community prayer. Uh, it's their first Wednesday community prayer at the First United Methodist Church at 7 o'clock in the morning. So come on by for coffee, prayer, fellowship, and singing at 7 o'clock in the morning at the United Methodist Church. And the Senior Center, the Sunflower Senior Center, is busy as usual. And tonight they have their monthly um, senior breakfast. And it's being provided by the USD 350 Recreation Commission. And they would provide the hamburgers and trimmings. And you just bring a, a picnic side dish or dessert to add to the fun and the feast and it should be made for a very enjoyable um, evening. And every first Monday, they do this. So if you're sitting, sitting at home and have nothing to do this evening, and it promises to be a nice evening, come on out and join the seniors. And on Thursday, uh, they expect to go to the Larned uh, Memorial Stadium for the fireworks there. The bus will leave uh, St. John's Square at 7.30 p.m. and uh, they should snack at Wendy's before going over in, into the stadium. And you might want to bring your lawn, own lawn chair or blanket or something to sit on the grass and enjoy the fireworks. I'm told it makes for a fun evening on July the 4th. But please call today or tomorrow and make your reservation so they know how many people to expect. And that the cost for that will only be $5. And again, mark your calendars as they plan to go to the Dodge City or some shopping in the casino on the 30th, 30th of um, July. 
I can't get over how how July is here. <laughs> um, I heard the dancing and the music in the square. Uh, they had the hot summer nights in the square. The next one coming up is July the 27th. So mark your calendars for that and come out, come on out and enjoy the music. There should be free hot dogs and hamburgers, music, games, and dance for everyone, teenagers and um, grown-ups alike. Just want to remind the parents too that the the school is having a summertime meal through July the 11th for all children under the age of 18. So. Um, I'm sure that is a useful service and please use it and call over at the school if you need more information and there's absolutely no cost to this so please use that summer meal program for all children under the age of 18 at the St. John Elementary School and I like what the Friends of the Library say reading is a privileged pleasure because each of us enjoys it, its quiet complexity in, in ways not replicable by anyone else. It is so much fun to read and they are of course encouraging all the children to read, especially the kindergartners through grade, fifth grade, and they have the Dig Into Reading program this summer. And the, they have dug up dinos and now they're going to look at the extinction of the dinos in on July the 11th so if you haven't got that book yet go get it and have some fun reading just want to remind you too that they have a rubber ducky club rubber ducky club for the little ones the ones on the age four so please you seem to be fun for for the kids of all ages and we have some new menus uh, from the Maxwell Center. Today they're serving up some smothered steak, scalloped potatoes, cauliflower and peas with rolls, cinnamon apple slices, and um, fruit, uh, if you so wish. And tomorrow it promises to be roast turkey with gravy, mashed potatoes, uh, beet with orange, uh, salad, uh, sauce, rolls, and fruit gelatin salad. Sounds summery and exciting. Chicken and stuffing is on the menu for Wednesday. And Capri vegetables with bread, mandarin oranges. So there's something for each of your tastes. So please, if you are in the Maxwell area, and with these hot summer days, don't want to cook, please visit them. Just give them a call. There's plenty for everyone. And over at the Sunflower Center, today they're serving up some meatloaf, baked potatoes, beets, cabbage salad, and apricots. And tomorrow they're serving um, a Swiss steak, potatoes, corn, jello, and a cherry surprise and um, Wednesday it's oven fried chicken, mashed potatoes, peas, tossed salad, and a banana delight. And a thought for day. We would not worry so much about what others think about us if we knew how seldom they think about us. We would not worry so much about what other people think about us if we really knew how they don't really think about us. They seldom do. Thank you and have a beautiful day.